I'm very thankful to you guys, to you guys, um, for getting me to that. Shots fired. Not getting me the fucking rock. Oh shit! Everything. Don't stop. Drop and roll. Um, but really, thank you. Oh, dead. I want to thank you guys because you guys were the ones who did it in the first place, and that's truly amazing that you guys would watch my videos a million times. Hello everyone, it's Polecat back in Grand Theft Auto SPFR doing a single player in one of the uh, new textures that I just made. Um, I cannot for the life of me pronounce it or really remember what it's based off of. Uh, something that bugs linked in uh, chat somewhere and I looked at it and I was like, oh that's actually not bad. So decided to throw one together and it actually came out pretty well. So we'll be doing a, oh my god I forgot. I said I, I, I just double looked, yeah, I, let's see, I made the directory about an hour or two ago and then I started doing something else and then I just realized oh that's right I put a real car pack in which I'm getting overtaken by a huge avalanche They're like what the fuck that scared me anyways um that was not something I was going to talk about but I guess I should since I just remembered it I put in a realistic car pack I'm not sure which cars will show up in multiplayer and which ones um won't or we might I don't know uh, it's <laughs> and I don't know how many polys there are but hopefully we can withstand um, the different types of cars. Oh, you can see that truck from far away. Wait for him to finish talking. So, uh, yeah, we have a real realistic car pack. That's uh, cool. This was downloaded a really long time ago um, off GTA 4 mods. Don't have a link to it, so I can't really provide that. But uh, this skin is going to be released on or sometime around there November 25th of this year I'm just leaving a lot of people have asked why so long I'm giving people time to record with it get it out there so that way when it does be released it gets um, you know a good amount of downloads and fair use to everyone so yeah that's that pretty much so look forward to that I already got a good, good feedback on it I think it looks really cool this is not the vehicle that was in the video that you saw that I posted just a preview of it um, this is a new one I found that actually replicates it more. It wasn't supposed to have a ram bar. Yeah, a very simple light pattern. Oh, that car just went underneath that car. Because <laughs> it's so damn big. <laughs> that's hilarious. Oh, that's a nice car, though. Yeah, it's fast, too. It's really going down over here. Um, so yeah, we're gonna just, uh, get the calls going. I'll start talking about some other stuff, too. Uh, first of all, I kind of want to say thank you to everyone who has watched my channel either from the beginning or right now. We have, uh, two or three days ago, um, this is being recorded on you know, October 18th, so not sure when this will go out, but um, it even might go out today. But I want to thank you for 1 million views. We've, in about two days ago, hit 1 million views, so that was really something spectacular for me. I've been working hard to get up there, and it actually came pretty quick so I'm very thankful to you guys blah, 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 to you guys um for getting me to that shots fired not getting me the fucking rock oh shit everything don't stop drop and roll um but really thank you oh dead I want to thank you guys because you guys were the ones who did it in the first place and that's truly amazing that you guys would watch my videos a million times uh, I know it wasn't one person obviously watching the videos but all of you together oh they're everywhere oh my god like the Jackson 5. Oh, oh. Anyways, thank you guys for that. Not only that, we are about 200 subs away from 10,000. That's actually fucking cool, too. For 10,000, I have two ideas for what I want to do. I don't want to do anything spectacularly big, because I want to save that for when I get more subs, because obviously, no, it's going to happen. I want to give more people the enjoyment of something huge instead of, you know, just... Uh, small group and then waste it and then that video never be seen and not saying that i have <laughs> waste it on you guys but um you know i want to i what i want to do for 10k um is two things either we could do a face cam of pdfr that has been mentioned a lot of times or a question and answer i would like to do a question and answer don't really have any questions to answer um and that's a big part of a q a 
but I guess, you know, we could debate on the time it takes for me to get to 10k to figure out what I really want to do. Um, you know, recording an LCPDFR face cam will only take a night, but I would need a few weeks to prepare for a Q&A with questions and stuff. So, if you do have questions, and not about just the ENB release and all that stuff, um, link them in the video, so that way I can judge on whether or not it's possible to even do a Q&A for 10,000. Um, so yeah, I mean, help me decide what I need to do as I murder everyone down here. Is there one back there? There is one back there. That auto aim. I gotta figure out how to turn it off. It's really pissing me off. But, um, yeah. If you have questions, go ahead and link them and I will see how many I get and if it can make a 10 minute episode of a QA. and a I think that would be pretty cool. Or maybe a QA and a while I'm playing Grand Theft Auto. Since that's gonna be super easy to read and drive at the same time. Um, but yeah, that's kind of my thoughts on that. Um, you know, everything else is going pretty well, I guess you could say. Very, very well. You know, my real life and the job. Um, and this job is going extremely, extremely well. I enjoy working all day long, even though it does get tiring. Going from a real, you know, 7 to 4 job and then getting on here and recording, I've managed to get used to it and it's going pretty good. You know, Code Zero is doing very well. Um, going to start playing a whole bunch of new games. I've bought a lot of new games myself even though they haven't really been released on my channel i've kind of taken the time to get used to them um but yeah everything you know lcdoj if you don't know what that is it's the community that i own for grand theft auto 4 it's a role play community um don't want to go too much into that in this video because i don't want it to seem like i'm promoting or anything um but yeah there's always everything's going really well um i do oh about lcdoj we have a lot of clan patrols coming out a lot of scenarios uh, me and Rich started putting out a lot of videos lately, and people liked that sense of style, loose, and joking all the time. That is fun, and but this channel was created for roleplay and the clan and all that, so I want to start getting some LCPDFR videos. I play with the clan every single day in uh, patrol, so I'm going to start recording some of those and putting them out on the channel. Those are going to be super serious patrols, so be fair warned that... You know, it's going to be serious. If you don't like those, you know, you don't have to watch them. You don't have to interact with them at all. But if you do like them and you want to see, you know, what we consider being a roleplay community, then that's good. We have a lot of uh, new ideas for scenarios and a lot of great guys who make it happen every single day on a daily basis. Um, you know, the dispatchers in there work extremely hard to provide dispatching for us when they don't have the ability to even get in game sometimes. So... Everyone really does their part, and I want to thank them if any of them are watching this video. Because um, you guys have truly made LCDOJ what it is today, and have brought the name very far. So, thank you to them. And just in general, thank you to everyone, because you guys have got me <laughs> to the point that he has no hood. Uh, they all have no hoods. You guys have got me to the point where we're able to, you know, really reach out to a huge amount of people in my eyes. You know, I've, I've been able to interact and make friends with some of the best people I could meet in the world. Um, and it's just been a really great experience, and I enjoy YouTube to the fullest extent. It's, it's an accident waiting to happen up there. But, um, yeah, it's truly amazing, and uh, it's all thanks to you guys and how far we've came. So, you know, that's kind of wraps up the list of stuff I wanted to talk to you about. So now we'll get into the patrol, and I won't just drive around randomly and look at shit and all that. These are really nice muscle cars. Um, we're going to be responding right now to a person with a whip on Not sure where it's going to come back to, so we'll just kind of wait here. Um, as of right now, the siren too. A lot of good feedback on the siren that I use, and then some of you say it gives you a bleeding headache with your eyes bleeding and ears bleeding. If that's the case, I would highly recommend seeing a doctor because you're probably going to die soon if you're bleeding from the eyes or ears. Um, for the people who like it, um, I enjoy it because it's... I don't usually like high-pitched sirens, but there was... Just a knack or something to this one. It's a Whelan siren. Usually Whelans don't have high pitched sirens, but this one stood out tremendously in my eyes. So I will probably change it for some episodes and it will vary, but for now I, I am going to keep it because it's such a good siren. Oh yeah, let's just walk down the street with a assault rifle. That's always good. Watch out. Come on. Now LCPDFR has not been working too well for me. Um, not sure why it has its moments where it just totally does not want to work, but we'll see what's going on 
Okay, so you have a loaded weapon. You got a loaded weapon, but she's gonna run from me. I mean, you can at least shoot me back. I mean, you don't <laughs> just run. That kind of makes it boring. Okay, you're gonna still continue to run and shoot your weapon at the same time. What if that gun shoots me while she's stumbling? There we go. I'll collect that weapon for evidence. We'll call a corner for her. I'm gonna try to get some type of vehicle call. Seems to be more uh, exhilarating than someone running away with an assault rifle. But yeah, wrapping it all up, everything's doing good, and uh, I'll hopefully be doing more textures, um, more textures, I guess, that look like this with a white background, not really a black and white scheme, something that looks a little more upbeat and happy. Um, not only that is try to... I love Crown Vics, but I think I've been using a lot of different vehicles lately. I don't think I've been sticking to the same one. I used to just be a Crown Vic only, and only drove in police skins for some weird reason, but... Um, now I've started using other cars, reaping the benefits of different looks and stuff, which has really been fun. So hopefully we can get some uh, cool new models to use from, you know, some people who are making them in the community and stuff. And got a new clan pack coming out for LCDOJ for any LCDOJ members who are watching that get to play in the games and stuff. Another thing, I guess a Grand Theft, uh, not I guess, but a Grand Theft Auto 5 clan that we started, uh, LSDOJ. We'll be opening up for all new uh, next generation Grand Theft Auto 5. I just ran a red light. Um, but yeah, that'll be opening up on PS4, Xbox One, and PC. It's going to be a lot of work, but it will be fun to roleplay in it. Um, yes, we won't have any mods, and I'm not sure when mods are going to come out. So ask me the question won't really get you anywhere because I don't know. Um, but it is a good role play we could set up a map and we can get uh you know rich role play for youtube and just to have fun and stuff so that's always something to look forward to i think it comes out xbox one and ps4 next month so you know if you have any interest in that you can visit www.lcdoj well you know that's for grand theft auto 4 you can visit lsdoj.com to get more information on that um but yeah we have a, oh shit i don't know not a good multitasker when it comes to talking and trying to do something else not good. I forgot that I clicked a reckless driver. Um, yes, I'm a reckless driver. So we're going to race to this subject. Looks like they're on the highway. I enjoy the blue lights, too. It's uh, something really different. And this ENB really looks good with blue lights and the color blue. Obviously, you can tell. Uh, so, yeah, this is... Uh, we're going to fucking kill someone. This is good. This is, uh, I'm losing my train of thought because I'm trying to drive so fast. Eh. Wall. But, uh, yeah. We're going to be responding to Reckless Driver. I did not look at the call that came in, so I don't know what type of Reckless Driver. I don't know where the hell it's at now since I was talking to driving so slow. Hopefully we'll get there soon. Oh, schnipples. Or get in the texture. I got to slow down. Basically what happens when that happens is the graphics card's getting way too hot. Um, very normal. Usually, I just fresh installed it too. I shouldn't be doing that, but it happens. Try to slow it up to 60. I don't know if I'm going to catch up to him anytime soon. Infinity loading screen for a second there. Hold on. Oh my god, they're going so fast. It's going to take so long to get there. Um, so yeah, it's obviously a really, really, really fast car. And I'm in an Explorer. Not really a pursuit vehicle. The lag is real right now. Oh, fucking A. People don't move over, and then it makes me random. The dirt patterns look real on this car, though. Uh, if you want to use this car, this is a car that's available to the public. It is a BX Bugs model. Um, the other one that was in the vehicle... Uh, uh, blah, 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 the first video that I released is a BX Bug model as well. Those can all be found on GTA Police Mods. Um... I think that's like the only place he uploads. I'm not really sure. But yeah, check that out and you can get it if you want. You can get the vehicle now and then the skin will be released about a month or so, month and a half on the 25th, like I said. So look forward to that. If you have any ideas for textures, um, link them in the descriptions. Let me know. Only in this video, though, because I don't want to see them spammed in every other video. Um, yeah, just link them and let me... I'll look at the design. Link a Google Drive link or something. Or Google Drive. Uh, Google Image link or something. Jesus. This guy is going so fast. Let me know. I'm trying to make new stuff. What about... Uh, 
a lot of Florida skins. If you have any ideas for Florida, maybe little towns in Florida, because I don't have time to Google search anything. Um, I'd like to start doing some of those. This is a Florida skin on this car. It's just been converted to Liberty County, so that way we don't have any issues with copyright or anything like that. Lag is real right now. The lag is real. This mother trucker is going so fast, he went from an island to another island in five seconds. We'll be cutting up, cutting up to him. He's down here around the corner, probably crashed. Oh yeah, he crashed. I can hear him hitting shit. Seems legit, GTA. Most unoptimized game in the fucking world. Where is he? He's inside there. At least we'll get him. At least we'll get him. I don't know how he managed to get in there, I can tell you that. Oh yeah, you're wedged. Seems legit. Okay. Get out of the car. Oh, he's going to be refusing to? I'm going to probably pull him out because he's not going to cooperate through Braveheart. Oh, don't you get back in the fucking car. What is he doing? What is he doing? Tried to tase him? Taser deployed. Never. <laughs> they usually are like a board when you tase them. They don't blobble like that, but all right. Hopefully I don't get an error. I've been getting an error lately. Oh, thank you, GTA.